Hi guys, this is Mitya from the MBM team. We have a very special occasion today. Just one year ago, we deployed our very first Battle Miners NFT collection. Since then, our game has evolved a lot. Of course, you were the biggest part of it. Without your support, we could not carry on. So big thank you for staying with us. Why are we here today? For those who don't know, in May we announced the start of the development of a new massive multiplayer real-time grant strategy. So now, just a couple of months later, we want to let you in on the very first steps of the game development. For now, the game is in prototype stage, so everything you see here is basically our playground to test out ideas, gameplay and so on. The visuals are not what we will see in the real game, but they can give you a hint of how it will work out. So. What we see here is a space station placed in front of one of the planets in our system. This is the place where they start the game. Basically, a headquarters that every player will receive at the start of the game. We call this design a sunflower. It has an inner core for the engineering systems, a huge solar collector for energy independency, an outer rim for docking of heavy ships. It also has this long connector for docking platforms for smaller ships or ships that want to use multiple docks or speed up loading or unloading process. We see two ships on the platform, our initial cargo ship that we will receive for our very first missions, as well as the control tower carrier that we will need if we want to establish our planetary base. At the end of the big stick we see a sphere where we'll spend a lot of time. The missile control room and our personal quarters are inside. While this game is very much a strategy game first, it is very important to us that you as a player connect with our world, so we try to implement as much immersive elements as possible. So now it's time to land on the planet. Let's select a spot on the planet where we want to land. Our control tower, together with the planetary hovercraft unit, will need a landing pad to land. It cannot land on uneven surface. So let's follow the ship. And here it is. Now as we see it's a waiting order, it's uh, sitting idle on the landing pad. Landing pads will be randomly distributed on the surface. So landing on one does not mean that this plot is yours. You can take another one by traveling there. What we see now is our plot of land and hexes for object placement. We can select uh, where we want to land. If we decide to build the control tower, we will have to purchase the entire plot first. Plots will have random size distribution, as you can clearly see here. The amount of hexes will differ as well as resources available on start. Resources will shift over time, so prepare to plan strategically and you are not left with a plot of land that is specialized to mine a resource that is not longer available. So, this is the price. 28 hexes, let's build. The cargo is getting carried over and we have a control tower. Depending on what planet you are, which surface you choose, you will have an option to build a specialized unit for your purpose. There will be units built on water, uh, levitating buildings on gas giants, special units for asteroid explorations. Uh, buildings might require several hexes to build or upgrade, uh, they might have perks if built next to each other, so you have to take into consideration when planning the development on your land. So, for example, if you want to place a, a strategical important unit like mining facility, what we are trying to do now, it might be better to place it next to refinery, if you want to have a shorter way uh, for refined products, or it might be better to place it mm, closer to the landing pad. So once built, your cargo or something, a resource you have mined, will have a shorter way to travel between the mining facility uh, and the landing platform where the cargo ship uh, will be called upon uh, once uh, you basically have goods to be carried over. So now we build uh, the mining tower. Uh, now you see a placeholder for the mining operation. Once it's filled with green, we have a resource. Ah, here it is. So now we can see how it leaves the building and goes to the landing pad. And now let's wait for the cargo ship coming uh, from space to take it out and bring it to our headquarters. Oh, pretty fast. 
So now we have this um, placeholder circle to give us a sense of how fast it loads. So for now it's around 10 seconds. And here it goes. Yeah. So let's click on our headquarters. Let's get inside and give a feeling of what is going on there. Yeah, this is our landing pad. And we are waiting for our ship to land. Where is it? Hopefully soon. Oh, here it is. Beautiful. Small, but cool. Also, this is a first example of a great module design for containers that we will have. And outside, we have a man standing there just to give you a sense of scale. I think, yeah, a bit lonely for him, but beautiful. Also, later in the game, we will have planets that you can see from the outside, ships passing by. Very cool. So, let's run to our mission control. Mm. On the left, what do we have here? Yes, this is our personal space. A bit empty here, chair, bed, and you will be completely free to customize it the way you want later. Yeah, this is basically our beautiful view, but let's see yeah, from the other side. We'll have monitors here, different start system, uh, interactive controls, and yeah, this is pretty much it for now. Oops, what is this? Yeah, didn't see that. Yeah, what a beautiful planet. And imagine, guys, how much cooler it will look once it's over. So, because this is a prototype, it will be that much better. So, please, stay with us. You supported us for a long time, for 12 months. Just bear a little bit longer. And we will be uh, keeping you fresh up to date with updates. There will be a lot of stuff coming. For now, this is just a visual stuff, but uh, of course, this is a strategy. So a lot of things are dedicated to uh, mechanics uh, of trading, of mining, uh, of, of player versus player interaction, uh, alliances, and so on. It will be so much cooler. And yeah, nothing that has been done before on that scale. So I hope that we will have a great, great future together. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.